Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you an update on my team project pen, how I am doing. Last month I switched out a lot of products, so it was a little bit more fun to be working on these products this month. I'm going to let you know how I did, what progress I made. And um, yeah, so if you're new here, I want to just say welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Anne Chris. I love, love, love to play with color, as you can see, but I always try to keep my looks a little bit more elegant and a little bit more sophisticated. I try out a lot of new makeup, especially from mid to higher end brands and indie brands. I love indie brands. I have been doing that for years, so I really know what's good and what's not. So if you want to know what good products are out there, but you also want to get some inspiration on how to play with color but keep it elegant then please consider subscribing i upload two to three times a week so there's always something fun to watch and let's jump in now to these products and see how i have been doing for this month Before I'm telling you how I did on my progress, I want to let you know that this is a project Haley and Kat from Beauty News created. I'm going to leave their um, first videos and both their channels down below in the description box. And yeah, let's get started. It is a little bit warm today in Holland, so I have my window open. I hope it's not too loud. If there's something loud going on, then I will close it, but I hope it will be okay. All right, I am going to go into my spreadsheet as usual, and I'm going to start off with my primer. I am trying to pen this e.l.f. Uh, poreless primer, poreless face primer. Uh, last month I rolled this in, so this is a new project, a product for me. I was at 64.6 grams and I am at 63.2 right now. So I'm doing okay on that one. Then for foundation, I am panning the MAC Studio Fix. Yeah, the MAC Studio Fix foundation in NW20. That is this powder foundation I hit pan on this baby, I think last month. Yeah, I think last month I hit pan on this. I haven't been using it a lot and it shows because I was at 58 grams and I am at 57.9 grams. And I don't really think the pen grew that much, but yeah, you know. I have been um, focusing a little bit more on this one. This is the L'Oreal Glam Nude BB Cream. I rolled it in last month and I was at 35.4 grams and I am at 34.7. So that is, I think it's almost a gram. So that is quite nice, quite nice progress for a BB cream while I'm all also doing a, um, a review on a, the Max Factor Miracle Skin Touch. I want to see if it's more summer proof. And I am uh, also having a foundation in my shop, my stash. So that is why I'm not really making a lot of progress. But yeah, that's just what it is. Then I have two concealers, as you know. The first one is this Fit Me by Maybelline in number nine, no, number 16. Number nine, I don't know why I said that, but number 16. I have been using this very consistently because I always put it on my cheeks to reduce uh, the redness before I put on some makeup or some like uh, foundation. I was at 13.8 gram last month and I am at 13.4 right now, which is a little less than I expected. But yeah, and somehow there's a very big, like I'm almost there, but still this is going strong. So I don't know, it's like magic, I guess. Then the second uh, concealer I'm working on is this Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Concealer in the shade 100 Fair. I was at 11.8 last month and I'm at 11.4 um, grams right now. So I used 0.4 grams the same as I did with the Fit Me. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what is going on right there. Using this quite regularly, so yeah. I will get through it at some point, but I'm not doing extremely well. But yeah, that's yeah, that happens, you know. For powder, I am trying to pen the Essence All About Mac Fixing Powder, All About Matte, sorry. And I'm only using this to set my um, eyeshadow base. And I'm it's so such a shame I can't really show you, but there's a dent in here. I'm doing very well on that. I'm trying not to focus too much on that because I think it's silly to say, oh, I hit pen if it's just this little nicky corner in there, but somehow I always tend to go there. So we'll see. I was at 41.8 grams last month and I am at 41.6 grams right now. So that is 
two grams used. Then I'm also uh, panning this RCMA no color uh, powder. This one I'm going to, my goal is to use half of this one. So I marked where I was and where I want to go. I don't think I'm going to mark this a lot because it's not, it doesn't always want to lay straight. So if I'm going to mark it with these little stripes then I don't know for sure if I'm there because you know, it doesn't want to lay flat. So I'm just weighing this one. And I am at um, 102.3 right now. And I was at 102.7 last month, which means I also used 0.4 grams of this product. Then I have rolled in a setting spray. I am going to try and pen this setting spray. I did a little bit of a mark. As you can see, I have used it a little bit and I also weighed it. It is at 86.8 grams right now. Um, so we will see how far along I will um, get this. I just rolled this in just a few days ago, but I thought it was a good thing to get this out of the equation because this is really more of a skincare product than a setting or fixing powder. So I want to get this out of my um, collection. It's a nice product. It's just that I don't use it as a skincare product, but I want to use it as a setting spray and it doesn't really work. So. Well, it doesn't really work. It works, but it doesn't do as well as the ones I am loving at the moment. So this is going to be panned, I hope, soon. Because setting spray, it should go, it should be able to go fast. So let's see what will happen. My goal for that product is to use it up. Then I have the Cover Girl Vitalist Healthy Powder in Buff Beige. I have been just using it. I have a very, very big pen on this one. My goal is that I have to use it up until I have to repress because I'm not really good at repressing. But um, I bought this ISO Clean repressing kit not too long ago. So if I have to repress, I'm going to try to do that because I should be able to do that with that kit. And I will have pictures up of the powder products where I can show you a difference in pictures. I will have that up, up uh, right there. In grams, I had... 59.6 grams last month and I am at 59.3 grams right now so that is 0.3 grams used and I have another bronzer I rolled in last um, last month it's this one it's the Rimmel it's uh, the Rimmel Sun Bronze in 022 and my goal is to use uh, oh no my goal is to get to know it and see if I want to declutter it. So I was at 41.3 grams last uh, month and I am at 41.1 grams right now. I'm doing okay on this. I'm, I'm trying to reach for it and I will use it for three months and then with the next month I can switch uh, things up. I'm going to see if I want to chuck it or if I'm going to keep it in my collection if I like it enough. Then for my blush, and it is so exciting because I made myself use a gram of this and I used up until now 0.9 grams. So I'm almost at one gram use. It's a Physicians Formula blush in Vintage Rouge. It's a very nice blush. The smell is really nice. I was at 42.3 uh, grams last month and I am at 42.1 grams right now. And I counted all the grams I had because usually I was weighing it when this little um, applicator was still in here. There's, normally there's a little applicator in here, but that got, you know, it fell out. I ran over it with my desk chair, so it was broken. So I took it out. Didn't think about the fact that I had to weigh it with that thing in there. So I am uh, adding up the difference between, you know, the first time I waited until the little thingy broke and then up until now. And I am at 0 0.9 grams. So I'm almost, almost there. I think I can take it out next month. Then for my highlight, I switched up my highlight. I am now working on this MUA Highlight Radi in Radiant Cashmere. It's a very nice highlight. I'm not wearing it today necessarily. I do notice that it's a little bit emphasizing my texture. So I'm glad that I put it in to see how I like it. Um, what I said I needed to do is use a quarter gram. And I used, I was at 44.4 grams last month and I am at 44.3 grams right now. So I use um, 0.1 grams right now and I should use 0.25. Yeah, I should, 0.25. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not there yet, but I'm, I'm doing good. 
And the next product is this MAC Paint, uh, MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And I'm just plodding along. It's a nice product. The reason why I, I am panning it right now is because it is at its sweet spot. So it's going to dry, dry out in a bit. And I want to try and get rid of it and use it up before uh, that happens. My goal is to use it up. I was at 54.2 grams last month and I am at 54.1 grams right now. There is how much is in here? It doesn't really say how much there's in here, but I use a 0.1 grams right now. So I hope, I hope I will get through this before this dries uh, up too much because then it's just a hassle. All right, then I also put in a new liner. I put in the KVD Vegan Be Beautiful and Kind uh, Beauty uh, thing. It's the tattoo liner, everybody knows about this one and I want to use it up because it's old and I want to uh, use it up before it dries down. I was at 6 grams last month and I'm at 15.9 grams or 55.9 grams right now. So I used 0.1 grams of this liner. One thing I haven't been really using that much is the Rimmel Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Sable 011. It's a very nice pencil. It is very, it's like emollient, emollient enough to glide on my eyes very easily. It doesn't really stay long in the waterline, but I'm not someone who loves to wear um, like liners in my waterline anyway, so it's fine. I'm noticing that I didn't put any mascara on my bottom lashes. Let's fix that. Well, that's better. That's better. Uh, so for the eye pencil, I'm still at 10.4 centimeters. And then the next one on the list, and that is why I, th uh, I thought about uh, the fact that I forgot to put on some lower lashes and uh, mascara on my lower lashes. This is the Max Factor Volume Infusing uh, Mascara. I'm going to use it up until it's too dry to use. And I am at 26.5 grams right now. And I was at 26.6 last month. So that means I used 0.1 grams. Then I have my brow stuff. And I have the Goof Proof number 9. And as I thought, this is going to be very... It's going to be a journey. There's still a lot of in the hair i was at 1.9 uh, centimeters last month and i am at still at 1.9 centimeters right now i'm using this almost every day but somehow this is going to take me a very long time i knew this because i have tried i think to pen this thing last year or use a centimeter or something like that and it took me a very very long time so it is going to take me a while to get rid of this but it is just to warm colored for me so i want to get it out of my collection but i think it's a very nice product so i don't want to just toss it or give it away then i'm also trying to work on this brow lifter and highlighter i have set myself a goal to use one centimeter of both sides you have like a shimmery side and a highlight side and um or a lifter side that's the non shiny side I was at 6.3 centimeters on both sides last month and I'm at 60.2 centimeters on both sides right now. So I used 0, 1, 1 millimeter, really, yeah, 1 millimeter of this stuff. I have been trying to think about using it, but it's not a very nice product. So it takes me, you know, I'm like, okay, well, yeah, yes, I have to use it because I have to use it to know, you know, this thing is going to get swapped like ASAP, ASAP. But yeah, I'm trying guys, I'm trying. Then I have rolled in a new brow setting product and this that is the Catrice Brow Colorist. It's a semi permanent brow mascara. It's this one. I don't really understand if Cosnova is the shade or if it's just a name for like the factory or the city it's made in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I rolled this in. I am at 10.6 uh, grams right now. So I'm really liking this, but it's drying up a little bit. So, and that's the reason why I like it right now, because when I first started using this, the formula was way too wet and now it is getting drier. It is getting a lot better. You still have to be a little careful that there's not too much product on the brush because you get a lot of those like smears and stains otherwise, but it has been way less than it has been before. So I am working on this baby from now on. 
And then I have my lip liner. I pulled in a new lip liner because the last one finished last month. It's the NYX, uh, the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Beijing. I have been using it. It's a very bright color. I didn't really realize that, but it's very bright. So it's, well, you know, good for summer, but I don't know if I can use this whole thing up when fall and winter uh, rolls in because it's a weird color for those months. I was at 11.4 centimeters last month and I'm at 11.2 centimeters right now. Then for lipstick, I am working on this MAC Syrup. It's a... It's a lipstick from MAC and it's in that sheen, sheen, satin sheen type of formula. I really like it. I bought a backup of it. Don't know why. So I have two of these. I want to pen this one because I've made a lot of you or I've used a lot of this one already. And the other one is quite new, I think. Well, quite new. Not really, but it is going to, it's newer than this one. And it will go bad. I just know because I am, I don't know. I did this it wasn't at the beginning of my makeup you know collecting hoarder type of deal and I bought two so I really have to get rid of this one because otherwise I have two I was at 1.5 centimeters last month and I am at 1.4 centimeters right now so I used a millimeter of that uh, lipstick and I think that is quite okay then I was also working on the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in Easy Bake and I have no clue where that is. I put it in my bag at some point and we went to the beach, my brother and my little niece, we went to the beach and I took it with me because I thought I was going to use it a little bit more. Didn't use it and I think I left it there. So I'm going to, I think, just call it lost. And if I find it, then I will put it back into my uh, project. But I can't tell you how I'm doing because it's gone. It's gone. Then I am also working on this Hero Nail Hardener. And I'm making some progress. I think it's focusing. Yeah, I'm making some progress, as you can see. I'm doing quite all right. But this is the thinnest part of the bottle. So I'm really curious to see how fast I will go through this. Um, I was at 41.7 grams last month and I am at 41.4 right now. So I used 0.3 grams of this. And I must say my nails are doing good. I have to really, they're getting too long. I have to take off the hardener and I have to uh, tend to them and put new stuff on, but it's going well. Then I also have a category for mini fragrances and I haven't been using any of those. So I'm still at 10. Yeah, I'm trying to get to five. Um, and then the last thing is the Ordinary Caffeine, Caffeine, Caffeine Solutions 5% uh, EGCG. This is a product you put under your eyes and it helps to reduce a puffiness and um, discoloration on your uh, eye or pigmentation and it does work i'm really glad that i put this in my project because i am really noticing a difference because i have been using this this much so i'll probably just buy a new bottle when this is gone but you know sometimes a project pen is good to just make sure that you're using stuff that actually works and keep a little bit of a routine going i was at 57.1 grams last month and i am at 56.4 right now so i used 0.7 grams i haven't marked it because the stripes are so close together can you focus please yeah the stripes are so close together i can't really mark it very well so i'm just going to weigh it it's the most satisfying uh, way to show progress on this thing anyway all right guys that was already the last product i wanted to show you my progress on thank you so much for watching if you are doing the same project then leave me a comment down below so i can root you on give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and please subscribe and hit that notification bell so i will see you in my next one bye